All right, welcome everyone. Uh, I'm Pastor John, and this is Aaron Dean, and we are here at Virtual Sunday School for You, and we are excited to have Aaron as a guest here uh, to walk us through Matthew 16 and Peter's confession. So buckle up, get ready, because we're going to share, read, talk, pray, and bless one another, uh, and have God bless us through His Word. So uh, get ready for a wonderful time in Virtual Sunday School. Hello. So uh, as Pastor John said, my name is Aaron. Today I'm going to walk you through uh, Matthew 16 and the confession of Peter. But before that, what we do in our virtual Sunday school is we're going to share our highs and lows. But before we get to that, we're going to share our highs and lows for the week. Now I'll go first and I'll give you mine, but then you pause the video and share your highs and your lows with those around you. So this week, my high for the week was, of course, this. I've been looking forward to this all week. Pastor John invited me on, and he wanted me to take a lesson, and this is very exciting for me. I haven't gotten to do this before. So I'm very happy to be here with you all. Now, for a low, I work at a grocery store, and this week we had to do inventory. Inventory basically means you go into the grocery store, and you count every single thing in the grocery store, and you add them all up. And it took a very long time, and it was very, very boring. So that was very, very tedious and not very fun. So that was my low for the week. So once again, please pause the video now and take a moment to share your highs and lows with one another. Welcome back. So we've shared our highs and lows, so now we're on to our story. This particular story is Matthew chapter 16 verses 13 through 20 and I would like to go ahead and read that for you so if you'd like to read it yourselves please pause the video now and go through it and then hit play whenever you're ready so 16 13 when Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi he asked his disciples who do people say the son of man is they replied some say John the Baptist others say Elijah and still others, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. But what, about, but what about you, he asked. Who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Jesus replied, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for this was not revealed to you by flesh and blood, but by my Father in heaven. And I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell will not overcome it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Then he ordered his disciples not to tell anyone that he was the Messiah. Welcome back once again. So we have shared our highs and lows, and we have read our story. So now we would like to somehow relate our highs and lows to the story. Now, I will give you an example, and then you please pause once again and do this among yourselves with your own highs and lows. So I'd like to start with my low. So I did inventory. I It was boring and it was tedious and it took a long time. Now here Peter says Jesus is the Son of God and he confesses it before other people and he continues to do this throughout the rest of his life. This is what we are called to do it's what we're asked to do and sometimes it can be long and boring and tedious and it can feel like nothing is actually getting done until you finish it but once you finish it it's a wonderful feeling now to relate my high to this text my high this week was of course doing this it was I was looking forward to it all week being able to talk about Jesus and who Jesus is now Peter here says who Jesus is, and then, again, goes on to live his life to do that. And for my high, I just want to do that. So my high is actually fairly easy to get into this. So please uh, pause the video and you know, try this out for yourselves. See how you can relate. All right, so this is the part of our Sunday school where we take the time to pray for one another's highs and lows. Now, if I were to pray for my highs and lows, it would go something like this. Dear God, 
I thank you that you allow me to look forward to opportunities to tell people who you are. And I ask that you would please help me to do it well and to do it the way you want it to be done, even when it is long and tedious and it feels like I'm not accomplishing anything. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, as you've probably figured out by now, it's your turn. So go ahead and pause the video and pray for one another's highs and lows. Parents, pray for your children's highs and lows. Children, pray for the highs and lows that your parents gave you. Hello everyone and welcome back. It's uh, me, Pastor John, and uh, it's awesome. Aaron's done a great job. I hope you hope you have enjoyed uh, virtual Sunday school. And now we're we're wrapping up our time here together and we're going to bless one another. And usually we don't have two people here on virtual Sunday school. So now we get to we get to bless one another. I'll bless uh, Aaron and Aaron's going to bless me. So Aaron, may God be with you in your highs and your lows. Pastor John, child of God. May he be with you in both your highs and your lows. So parents and kids, why don't you take a moment now to, uh, to pause the video and uh, bless one another. So now just to wrap up our reflection, uh, let's talk about one new thing that you learned today. One new thing, one thing that you already knew that's worth repeating. Maybe it's about uh, Peter's confession and where he was. Or uh, share one thing that you'd like to know more about. Maybe it's about learning how to talk about your highs and lows, or praying this confession. Really thankful for Aaron coming in here and sharing about Peter's confession with us. Uh, again, um, there will be uh, coloring sheets and uh, other materials for you here at the church if you'd like to pick them up. Otherwise, you can email uh, me at pastorjohn at stpaulfd.org, and I can uh, send you those materials. But um, just take a moment now to wrap up uh, your reflection and share those thoughts with each other, and you can pause the video now and do that. All right, everyone, thanks for wrapping up your reflection, and I hope Virtual Sunday School was a blessing to you. I know it was a blessing to me, and I'm thankful to Aaron for coming in and preparing this for us. Uh, have a great rest of your week, and we'll see you next week at Virtual Sunday School. Aaron, any final thoughts for us? Um, just... Just have a good week and make sure you come back next time. See y'all later. Take care.